Now let's do the example 7.1 which determine the moment of inertia of the area about the x and y as is. So you must remember what is the first step. So the first step, if the question want to determine the moment i x about x and i y about the y as is. Okay, so if you want to determine the first the first one, let's say we want to determine the moment of inertia i add. So i add, uh, you must remember that i add is equal to integration of y squared d a. So the first step we need to choose the rectangular strip. So we must remember. If we want to determine the ix, we choose the horizontal strip. So now, let's say, let's say we uh, sketch the rectangle here. So this is the strip. So we need to identify what is the da. So what is this? So this is the dy. And then what is this? So we need to get okay. This one is, uh, what is this instant? This is add. So definitely, to get uh this T A, we need to measure this instant. Right? Okay. Now this is X. So what is this? So definitely we have here what. So this is one. So the total line here is one. So what is this? So this one is 1 minus x. So we can have dA. dA is equal to 1 minus x dot dy. So uh, the limit of the integration is 0 to 1. Understand? Uh, so this is, uh, so the first step is to place the rectangular strip. The second step is to substitute into the integration. So now after we uh, substitute the dA into the integration, then we can solve it. So we can solve. So now we substitute dA uh, into the i x is equal to integration so y squared dA and then we substitute okay so must remember here um this is the x 1 minus x right so this is this is uh, dy uh, uh, dA dA is 1 minus x dy Okay, so we have uh, we have to make a uh, uh, similar. So if one this one is differentiated into the y, so this one we need to change into y. Uh, that's all what I mean. So here, yeah, how to convert x into y in y? So it's we have be given here y uh, power of three is equal to x power of two. So we can rearrange back. What is x? So x is equal to square root y power of 3 or you can write 3 over 2 so you have to substitute this into x right substitute into this right then after substitute then we can solve it so we can solve this one because we have in y already so we must remember what is the limit limit is 0 and 1 so you can solve and then you can have the answer so the i x okay the moment of inertia about the x axis this is the x axis okay is equal to 0 0.11 meter power of 4 next we need to determine the i y so I want we understood that we need to sketch. We need to place the rectangular strip vertical, right? So can we put this strip here? Cannot. 
can right uh, so you can place the this uh, rectangular strip at any uh, in the entire shadow area here so now we already place the rectangular strip and then the integration that we understand uh, the derivations of the i y moment of inertia about y so this is the y as is so i y is equal to integration of x squared dA so now as usual we need to determine what is the dA so here dA is what dA this is uh, this is dx so what is this length this is y isn't it so dA dA is equal to dx dot y so we can substitute into the equation so we, we substitute dA is equal to y d x and then and then because of this is dx so we have to uh, convert the y into x so we substitute y so this one y power of 3 is equal to x power of 2 so y is equal to x to power of 3 and then eh no, 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 no. We want... Yes, correct. <laughs> so, we substitute uh, y squared to x power 2 over 3 into here. Then, we have the integration i, y. Okay, i, y is equal to x power of 2 dot x power 2 over 3 dx. Then, we can simplify. So, what is the... Limit ah so limit also one, so you can solve here. So the answer moment of nature about what is this is equal to zero point two seven three. Alright, so after this you can do your own by determine the moment of nature about i x about the x as is, but by using the vertical strip. Like this. Because the previous example, we determine the Ix by using the horizontal. Okay. So, you must remember. So, if we are using the the vertical, so we have similar dx here. So, we can use Ix is equal to integration of 1 over 3 y power of 3 dx. So, this is you may refer to the previous uh, that we have derived. So, now you may substitute y power of 3 is equal to x power of 2 is given here. Right? So, you can solve it and then you get the same answer. 0 0.11 millimeter power of 4. Okay. Now, let's do the example 7.2. Determine the moment of inertia of the area about the x and y as is. So, everyone needs to know what is the moment of inertia about the x and y as is. So, this is x as is, this is y as is. So, everyone should know what is the first step and what is the second step. So, what is the first step? First step, we need to, what, to do what? To place the rectangular vertical strip or horizontal and then the second one to substitute the the element of da into the integration so if you if you choose the vertical uh, this one you can solve for the i y and then this one you can solve for the i, x. And also, you can use the vertical to solve the i, x. Okay, now, let's do the solution. Okay, so for this example, we want to use the vertical rectangular strip. 
okay, to determine I X and also the I Y. So now here we place the vertical strip here. And then we need to get what is the D A. Okay, so here we have length here. So the length for the shaded area is given by B. And then uh, this curve is given by the Y is equal to H over B power of 3, X power of 3. And then, so we have the height of the shaded area is equal to H. Okay, so now first we want to determine the moment of initial about the X axis. So we can use the previous derivation that when we determine the ix uh, by using the vertical rectangular strip then we can use this one uh, remember or not the small element the small element this one element so is equal to 1 over 3 y power of 3 dx so uh, when we have the small element of the rectangular strip for the vertical like this then we only substitute y is the this one y power of 3 because we have to uh, similar uh, dx here so we need to change y into x so now what is the y y is given here h over b power of 3 x power of 3 so we just direct substitute so, in order to get the moment of initial about x for the entire area, so we need to do the integration. So, what is the limit? Uh, what is the limit here? So, we need to know what is the limit. So, for the x as is, so the limit is 0 to b. Okay? Alright. So, here... So you can, uh, so you, you have to solve this one. You simplify this one to become like this. Okay. And then you substitute. You substitute the, the, the value, the limitation 0 to B. And then you may get the answer. Ix is equal to 130, 1 over 30 BH cube. Alright, next. Next, we want to determine the moment of initial about the y as is. So, this is the y as is. So, we have to use the same rectangular strip. So, we use the same rectangular strip here. So, here we can use the usual formula. So, i y is equal to integration x squared dA. So, what is the dA? So, dA is here. So, this is the y. Then y, this is the dx. So definitely the area of dA is equal to y dot dx. So you may substitute into this equation. And then after you substitute this one, so uh, we understood that uh, this one, x, okay, this one we substitute dA is equal to y dx. And then y is equal to this. So we can substitute this one into this equation to determine the moment of initial about y as is. So what is the limit here? So the limit, the limit um, for the this one, 0 is equal to uh, 0 e to h. Okay. So you can substitute into this equation, then you will get the answer. I y is equal to one over c b q power of h. Next is the geometric property. So geometric properties means that this is a table that have been attached uh, during the exam or any books of the engineering mechanic or any design. This is the table of property. So it means that. Inside the table of properties is given uh, the shape of the regular, the regular shape, which is, for example, this is the rectangular area, this is the triangular area, and then what is the property? So, definitely, they give us the formula of the 
moment of inertia about the i x and then this one it is the moment of inertia about the centroid this one b h q over 12 so class you need to understand that there are two equations for the moment of inertia so i x means that from the axis from the origin this one is from the uh you must remember the axis so this one is the from the origin the origin x and then the x bar means that um from the centroid okay from the centroid okay so this one is the i y and this one is the i y bar okay and then this one is the polar moment of initial about that z as is okay so uh, you can uh, you can have the exercise uh, how to get how to get this equation okay because uh, everyone here already know how to uh, determine the moment of inertia about the x as is and also the y as is okay and then here rectangular area so rectangular area so sorry this is the triangular area so this triangular area this is the property so triangular area also have different uh, formula because this is the i x and this is the i x bar so you must remember eh, we have i x and i x bar x bar means that centroid okay next we have uh, circular and then we have hollow circular section okay so take a look at the hollow so hollow we have uh, we need to minus so you must remember this one we need to minus so here for the circular area and the hollow circular area we have a uh, same formula for the moment of initial about the x axis and also the centroid okay and also given also similar to the i y and i y bar and then this one is for the polar moment of inertia okay similar goes for the hollow circular area so we have the same formula i x and i x bar i y and i y bar and then this one for the hollow section so hollow section means that we have the uh, external radius minus the internal radius next we have uh, area circular sector we have quarter circular area and then we have the elliptical quadrant so here is the properties for the moment of initial about the x about the y and then about the z and then similar go for the others